Let's see how this works. I don't think I've done this in a while. I feel like it's been like a month. That's okay. I don't know if anything's gonna work actually. All right, let's see how this is working. Maybe I'll uh, update some of these like, why are there like ants and shit on the ground? Did you see that? I swear I've been seeing ants. Oh, there it is. Look, there's ants. They add ants. I, I swear I've never seen ants running around my own map before. And now they just got ants running around. Unless I got a script somewhere that uh, is making ants. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so. What we gotta do now. Is put in some of this dialogue, I think. So we got this working. I think this is working. <laughs> Although, what are our, our levels? So let's just hit play. I go grab some more of this stuff. So I have 12 bolts right now. 14. But the level stuff is not updating. Which kind of makes sense, but we we need the XP to to continuously update. So, let's make that work. I know these look crappy. Maybe we'll update that today too. Okay, so in here. So that changes. Oh, that just changes the level. See, we should always update. Even when the level doesn't change. So why are we not passing this back? I'm gonna look in my other game. Is this where I stole this? Uh, stole? Stole? I, I feel like I just changed into to a Canadian. Stole? But we're gonna look at this bad boy in Artifact Rush because I stole this code from Artifact Rush. Does it never update? That would be strange. Um, let's look at the quick stats. Quick stats controller. So open, close, update level. Level and progress scale. <laughs> All right, so where do we call it a level? We call it on get, oh, XP changed. Player profile service. Oh, right. Okay, so I think I know why. What the hell's going on here? Because I moved the XP into this one, I guess. Profile service. No, I, I still had that same stuff. That's interesting. All right. So what did I take out? XP changed, going change. Is okay. What? I'm looking at the code over here and it doesn't look like anything like the code over here. And I, I'm pretty sure I didn't take that stuff out. So hang on, we're gonna go like this. 
<laughs> this is add XB. Swap it with this code. Mm. There's the multiplier crap. Um, we don't have a multiplier service yet. We'll create one actually as part of this because we always need a multiplier service. So actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take all of this because this looks like, I don't know where I got this code from. Maybe I got it from the, um, not the base zone where all my latest code was. All right, anyway. So we're gonna do get currency, that's fine. Add nuts. <laughs> Add nuts needs to look like this. Add mm, to do, add pop up. Add pop up. Mm. All right, so that, this is gonna be the multiplier. Use multiplier. Where is, oh. So we're always gonna use the multiplier. <coughs> we don't need this. This is not as complicated as Artifact Rush. Multipliers, multiplier service, get multiplier player. We're just gonna pass in the player. That'll give us the multipliers. And then uh, nut count is gonna be nut count times multiplier nuts. Nut count nuts. Nuts changed. Okay, there's that. Um, and we need to do the same thing for bolts. So let's just do this. Oops. I'm just gonna take this entire thing, slap it in here, change all this to bolts. Bolt count, nut count, bolts. Bolts change, okay. And then XP, I have another function here for XP. Bam. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Bam. Player currency service though. Add XP. We don't need any of this stuff. We just need the player and the XP. Um, and we don't need this. We will always use the multiplier. Move that over. Uh, we're not gonna have rank. It's fine. XP times XP. Good, good, good. Get level. Okay. So now we never actually say if a level changed. I guess that's gonna happen on the client. On the client, if the level changed, that's where we'll handle that stuff. So we're just gonna tell, we're just gonna pass it back down. The server doesn't care. The server's just gonna say, hey, here's your here's your current level and here's your progress scale and here's your total XP. Um, and then the client is supposed to say, oh, hey, I have a new level. Let me splash some cool looking screen or something. Perfect. Da -da 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 -da. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Um, now, what are we gonna do? We are going to look at this good to make sure we're clicking. We don't have a get level. Okay, spend nuts. <laughs> Let me make sure I don't have anything over here that has anything crazy. So there's spend going. That's that's all good. But what I think I'm gonna do here, I don't need to do this. I can go and I can say self um, add nuts, right? And all I have to do is call player comma negative cost minus cost. Oops, right? And that will negate it. And it'll do everything for me. Perfect. Spend bolts. We're going to do the same thing on spend bolts. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. We're just going to do this self. Add bolts and minus bolts. Bam, just like that. Uh, or minus cost. Okay. Send pop up saying you don't have enough money. Fine, we can do that later. Um, let's see, what is the next thing we're gonna do? Do we wanna give XP just for playing the game? 
like just for being in the game because I can certainly do that but I don't know if I want to so we're not going to do that yet and that's okay all right and then the next thing we're going to do uh we need to do this get level stuff so get level is just a local function I'll plop that up here. Okay, now we don't have level thresholds either, so we have to make that. Okay, so in it, on the in it, on the in it, we're gonna have, we're gonna initialize our level thresholds. So here are our thresholds here. Bam, okay. Zero to five, zero to 500, so 500, XP gets you to the first level, I guess. And then, and then it's like a 1.05. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to look at this. But I think that'll be, be okay. Every level you're gonna get stuff, I think. Every level, every level you get to, you'll get a, a new bridge piece probably. The higher the levels, the bet, the like, the longer the bridge pieces you'll get. So like, if you if you're level, if you get to level fifty, you'll have fifty uh, fifty bridges. So without even spending any money, you're just playing the game. So this might go up. It really depends. Min diff. So we're gonna we're gonna put this at like ten. I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's see. We don't have XP changed yet. So we we have level change, but we don't have XP changed. So we need this XP changed. So we're actually, we don't have level changed. Okay, that's fine. And we don't have a multiplier service yet. So let's just get a, our multiplier service. Okay, copy that bad boy. Why can't I you oh my. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. This is a multiplier service. Game passes. Alright. <clears throat> Multipliers. We don't need rank. To do. Add these where they need to be for purchases. That's fine. Okay. So that, that gives you the uh um multipliers for spending stuff um which is interesting um i guess we might need to have a use oh, this is add bolts I'm gonna have to think about that. That's probably why we did that. So let's just put it back in there. Because if I don't want to use the multiplier for some reason, whatever it is. Yo, what up, T-Reg? How you doing? How are you doing? I might not want to use the multiplier for some reason. If I'm just taking away nuts or bolts from them, then they don't necessarily need to use the multiplier. Okay, so if use multiplier. Okay. 
Just woke up way too early, a little hungover from a spider drama. Dude, spiders are your friend, man. It's just like a regular spider, just like walking around the house. Oh, a spider dream. Okay, that, that would be freaky. All right. Like, what was it? Like big ass spiders? I love spiders. I. Oh, it's not that I love spiders. I just, I don't mind them in the house. Not a spider guy. I don't like, obviously like a big ass spider that's like gonna eat me, I, I'd be freaked out. But like little spiders, spider webs, I like them because they take care of other insects in your house, right? They don't really harm you. They don't bug you. I mean, sometimes like I'll have them like come down and like look at me, but like they don't do much to you. Um, but they take care of the other bugs that do piss me off, like mosquitoes. And, and not that we get a lot of mosquitoes or flies in the house, but you know, you do. All right, so that's use multiplier. Okay, so this guy, we're gonna do the same thing here. Use multiplier, okay. So, do, 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 do. if you use multiplier, then blah, 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 blah. Zoop. Zoop. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I saw you run into size. Yeah, man, I haven't streamed in a while, actually. I don't like them because they live over and under my bed in the basement. And some of them get alarmingly big and not just the daddy. Daddy long legs, I don't like. Yeah, they're not spiders. I don't like daddy long legs. They're nasty. I don't know what, they're, they're just like, they're, there's something about them. And I'm getting spooked, dude. So now you're watching me and you're, you're yeah. Yeah. I, but yeah, I haven't streamed in a while. I, um, there was like one weekend where I woke up and I was just in such a bad mood, like, I don't know, depressed. I, I, I just, and I just couldn't do it. I'm like, no, I'm not. I, I still like did work on my stuff, but I'm just like, I, I don't feel like streaming. I just, so I just didn't. And then it's been, it's been like over, maybe it's been like a month now. And I just, I just haven't gotten on. I just haven't felt like it. <laughs> I didn't, I, I felt like just working. Like I'm working on a new game here um, because I, with Artifact Rush, it's going really, Artifact Rush is still going, it's going really well, but I'm making all the mini games for Artifact Rush and I started making a mini game for Artifact Rush and I was like, dude, this could be an entire game. <laughs> so I started making an entire game. And it's a lot less complex than Artifact Rush. So, and I'm using a lot of code from Artifact Rush anyway. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Damn it. I am trying. This rainbow thing is something you're doing and not a tequila. Yeah. Yeah, I can change it. You want different colors? Tell me what colors you want and I'll change it. Tell me what color to change to what color. So there's three colors. Do I have three colors on right now? I don't think I have three colors. Let me see. Right now I have, I can, oh, what is this? I guess you can't see this one that well. Inner shadow, darkish blue and green. On which one, like inside and outside? You want darkish blue on the outside? And then you want this one to be green. That's a cool combo. I like that. I dig that. And then this one is supposed to do something too, but it's not, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Unless, ah, I see, you see that? Huh. That's not, I don't want that. 
inner shadow, outer shadow. No, I don't want outer shadow. Outer glow, inner glow, outline. Oh, God, there's another one. Okay. Advanced options. What is this? Oh. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know what this was at before. Uh, eh. Crap. That's good enough, right? Yeah, that works. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with those. All right, we'll close that. Uh, that's good, right? That's pretty sweet. I got this um this plugin from. A uh, guy on Twitch, uh, begin bot, begin bot, begin bot. Yeah, he makes it. It, it can do a lot more actually. Um, it, you can do a lot with it. Like, he actually has it set up where it 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 works with chat too, where chat can like change a bunch of stuff. Um, chat can make you like spin and crap like that. Like, um, let's see, let's look at this 3D transformation. Okay, let's put that in there. Um, oh god, this does not look good. Why can I not? This is all messed up. But if we go like this, you can like really skew it. Like it like folds. You see that? It's like folding. <laughs> this is like the top right corner. It kind of folds it down. All right, let's get rid of that. Okay. Uh, let's see what else is in here. There's... I've realized that if I give my chat access to a bunch of gimmicks, my stream turns into only gimmicks. Yeah, that's true. Nobody comes to my, my stream. So let's, let's not worry about it. Nobody's going to gimmick anything here. <laughs> I'm just doing this uh, to get myself down here and get on. All right. If I had been laid off in the layoffs that just happened, I was going to go back to Twitch. Because I know YouTube is not, uh, I'm not getting many views here, but that's okay. I need to work anyway. All right, so now we have this stuff. All right, so do we have the spend nuts. All right, we got spend nuts here. The cost costs add nuts negative cost if you do if i'm saying let's put a calculator in something costs eight nuts so if it's negative eight negative eight times 0.75 negative six okay so that multiplier word um Oh, but I can't just say, oh no, that's right. Yeah, the nuts, that's fine. If I have enough nuts, this game is gonna be hilarious. The guy asks for a pair of nuts. All right, you wanna see this little guy? Look at this sweet little uh, nut guy that I made. Isn't that cool? So this is like a real, little robot. He's rusty right now, but he, he will not be rusty soon. Actually, maybe I should change. I gotta get rid of this UI. I mean, I gotta fix the UI, but. He's lovely. Yeah, he's he's rusty right now, but as you progress through the like the tutorial piece, he'll become shiny. Um, okay. You wanna see what this game is about? The main portion of it? It's gonna be a very, very, very hard game. Very hard game. So let me see if I can um, show this to you. I have it set up right now so that it doesn't really do much, but uh, let's see. So checkpoint count, well, there'll be five checkpoints and in between every checkpoint, there will be 10 bridge pieces and we will have four difficulties. So I can show you. I think this should work. Hang on. Uh, a lot of stuff is breaking. Um, okay, nice. But if I hit play, okay, good. Uh, okay, my guy didn't load in properly. <laughs> What? Roblox, look at this stuff. That's interesting. Mesh content provider. 
A lot of stuff didn't load in. That's weird. Okay, anyway, doesn't really matter. All right, so th the point of this game, um, the, the main point of this game is to cross to different islands, right? So this is Noob Crossing. Um, you'll click a button. Uh, I don't know if this is actually gonna work. No, hang on. I gotta fix some stuff before. Okay, so replicated game pass is not available. Right, so let's just do this. Equals no. So we don't have storage at game pass. We don't have the game pass service. Where is this coming from? Multiplier service. Okay. So we don't have this either. All right. Yet. Let's see if that fixes the errors. Okay, good. Um, all right, now let's see. I don't know if this button's gonna work. It might not be hooked up anymore. Hang on. Damn it, it's not. Uh, attempt to index nil with clone. All right, what are you cloning that's not? Oh, okay, that's why. Rewards. It's gonna go like this. Just gonna put four of them in there to match up. Crossing islands, bridge piece, okay. Let's see if that works. Are you ready, T-Reg? Hopefully this works. Hit that button. Okay, so what what's gonna happen is you will you'll come up to this and you'll be so you'll be on an island, right? This is island one. You want to get to island two? You come over there, you hit the button, and you'll you'll get a prompt that's saying how do you want to cross to the next island? Easy, medium, hard, impossible. So we'll just do easy. Okay. What easy is gonna do? is it's gonna create a, a, a puzzle for you, basically. So I have to get all the way over to this portal over here, this fifth portal, right? But I have to, first I gotta go to this one. So if I, let me do this real quick. Let me just, oops, let me just uh, ship P through here, okay? So I'm, I'm starting here, I need to get to this guy here. That'll unlock, and then I need to go to two. And then I need to go to three. And then I need to go to four. Right? And then I need to go down to five. And this portal, once you get to here, once you get to the fifth checkpoint, you get to transport to the next um, island, where on the island you'll be able to do crap, right? So to get here, you have to place bridge pieces. So what happened was, the system automatically generated a puzzle of, of bridge pieces, right? And so I hit this open close and here's there's a bunch of bridge pieces. All 10 of these pieces, I don't know why I can't scroll all the way down to 10, but we'll figure that out later. But you have 10 pieces, right? Because I, in, in my uh, islands thing, I said there's 10 pieces between the checkpoints, right? So it created a, a series of bridges. So I can put all these bridges down, right? So you can see here when I hover over it, that's the bridge piece, right? So if, if I went three, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, one, right? That doesn't get me to the first checkpoint, right? That gets me somewhere over here, which doesn't work, right? You have to go inward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all those and it gets put back. Now, if I put them in the right order, you can also go like this. You can go, come over here and I can remove these, remove them. Like if I don't think that worked, then I can remove it, right? So I keep putting bridge pieces. These bridge pieces will look a lot better once I actually create bridges. But if I put them in the right order, I can get to the, to the first spot. The first checkpoint, right? And then I just can just walk along these bridges. No, 10, okay? So that unlocked the first spot, the first checkpoint. Perfect, right? 
And then I gotta get to the second checkpoint. I need to put some like lights over this stuff. So I know that, so you, you can see how this bridge went right into that green area. It has to go into one of those green areas to be able to um, unlock it. So then you just keep placing the bridge pieces and walking along. Now these are obviously in order. They won't be in order when I um, finish up the game. They'll be scattered, right? So now I can walk through this entire thing and get all the way over to the portal. This is gonna be very hard. It's gonna be very hard. Now in the beginning, in the beginning stages, there won't be that many bridge pieces. So like first stage the tutorial is just gonna have one bridge piece going right to the portal and that's it. Just te teaching you how to, how to place a bridge piece, right? And then each difficulty is a little bit different. So like the easy did the noob difficulty, the easiest one, you only get the bridge pieces shown to you that are for the, for the current checkpoint you're trying to get to. Um, as you go up in the difficulties, they'll show you more and more pieces, which will make it harder and harder to figure out which bridge pieces you need to place down. So like, let me just start this over again. And it's always different. So none of these puzzles are pre-made puzzles. So you can't just like, you can you can have friends help out, right? By being like, oh yeah, we should put this piece here or put that piece there. But there's no set way that the pieces are set down because it's it's random. So like then this time when I hit this, it'll be completely different. So um, if we go to impossible, right? It's gonna still create the five things, right? It created, but you can see now, one is here, two is there, three is down there, four is up there, and then five is way down there. But the big difference here is here, I have all of the, you can't see all of them because there's, the scrolling isn't working properly, but, um, so if I go six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, you know, I have every single piece for all of these things, which I don't think anybody's gonna be able to figure out. Like it's gonna be really hard to do the impossible. Even the hard one's gonna be impossible. I think that people like a challenge like this. Like some people would pour hours into trying to figure out the impossible one, you know? Not me, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would get too frustrated. But there are people that love doing challenges, but so, in the very beginning of this game, you're gonna, we're gonna put this back. Uh, let's go one checkpoint and one between and one one difficulty because this, this is like the tutorial mode. Everybody will go through the, the very beginning tutorial, which is just like nothing. So <clears throat> yeah, some people do like hell exactly. So what's gonna happen is this guy's like, hey, um, I need I need some nuts. So you're gonna go and collect nuts. We're gonna collect these guys. Ding, ding. Uh, okay, or maybe not. Nice, yeah. You're gonna collect these nuts and then he's gonna replace the nuts on his shoulder and walk you over to Noob Crossing and unlock Noob Crossing so you can go in here and click the button. You'll click the button and this will happen. I will show you. We click this button there's only easy for this one start it and it's literally just one piece so it's just teaching you okay open this guy up hit the one button move on to the next island whatever this island might be right and then you can come in here and do the same thing well the, the second island will will probably have like two pieces or something like that Third island might have like three pieces. Who knows? Okay, so let's continue on with this piece of it. So I need to, I mean, I guess I could do this this stuff right now. So let's just do that. Since we're doing just basic stuff, let's do that. So right now all I'm trying to do is 
get like some of the UIs working. Like this is obviously looks shitty, but we're fixing that. That's what I'm doing right now. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool and it's not gonna take much. Like that, the bridge part of it was was the big part, right? That that took a lot of time because I had to figure out how to generically or, or automatically, 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 I like using that word, automatically um, generate those bridges. Um, and I, I, I really love it because it's, it's, it's gonna be different for every player. It'll be different every single time you play it. So you could play the impossible one for a certain island crossing many times and it's always gonna be different. Every single time it's going to be different. Because of how I uh, generate those bridges. It was really cool. I had a lot of fun generating the bridges. But I, that's what I started with. I, just, I started with... Um, yeah, hell the code, exactly. Um, I went through a bunch of iterations. And, and so that's what I started with when I was doing the mini, mini game. Like that, that mini game, just placing bridge pieces. That was going to be a mini game inside of uh, Artifact Rush. And then I said, this could be an entire, entire game. And so I already had that code done. Now I'm just doing like the base, the, you know, the, the main stuff here. This, I'm gonna create a logo and stuff. This isn't gonna say bridges, don't worry about it. Okay, so actually we can... I need a different um, music station. Uh, what can I say? DMCA free hip hop. And since NJM operates as a mutual, they don't have to answer to shareholders. Bro, I swear on God, you don't want to shit. This shit's so wrong, baby. Is that my, is that my boy? The heck is this? She funny with it, funny with it. Cool. B5, full thump, I'm a hump. On a bounce, Jack and Jill, up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She called me the muffin, man. I surely like the muffin top. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to listen to it. I can't pick yo. It's either tits or some asses. Blue cover glasses. Please don't be so hassy. No, I don't want to listen to this. This is horrible. <laughs> Uh, let's see. No copyright rap beats. Alright, we'll start with this. Okay. So, right now, we're gonna make this a little bit better. So, let's make some images. Good eye. The question is, let's go to Photoshop. I like this. Okay. So we're going to look up not eye. Look at like these things actually. Yo, I almost had to poop though. Photoshop. Nut. So, what kind of nut do we want this to look like? I'm just gonna delete all these layers. And I don't like this bad. I'm gonna go try to get a little more seat. All right, have a good one, T-Reg. Appreciate you stopping by, buddy. Oops. What the heck did I do? That's not what I wanted to do. Do, 
polygon tool. Five sides. That's what we need. It's what we... No, that's not... We need six. You stupid idiot. Okay. There's that. We don't really need it to be red. Uh, we're gonna make it... Uh, well, yeah, we don't want this to be red. What color do we want this to be? You know, people always ask me, Kevin, what does being a CEO of cash backing mean to you? I mean, cash backing... Is there a, hang on a minute. I'm hearing a big truck outside. I'm wondering if it's like. Stuff I ordered. No, okay, good. Do we want to flip this a little bit? Uh, anyway. Why can't I free transform this? I don't get it. I can move it. Why can't I, like, transform it? What's going on here? Can I flip this around? Am, am I an idiot? Do I have to raster, ra rasterize it? Weird. I thought I could. Eh, oh well. I want to kind of make it right there, right there. Okay, and then we will. I think we're gonna go like. We're gonna make it like that. I kinda like it like that instead. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna get a layer, a new layer, bam, and we will stroke this bad boy with black. 40 pixels, perfect. Although I think I wanna do that inside. 40 pixels inside, bam, just like that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, the green that doesn't look bad. We're gonna do this. We're gonna take this guy. We're gonna make a circle. Do something like that. What? So, but now we need to move this. That's not where we put that. We want that to be centered right there, right? Perfect. All right. That looks good to me. Um, but we need to remove. To delete, delete everything in here. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try and make all these transparent. Because so let's export as quick PNG. 
and we need to go to bridges. Okay, so that's Photoshop. Um, let's let's create a new folder, um, and we'll call this assets. Nah, I'm just going here. Icons. So, yeah, I guess I'll just place it in the same folder. Your yard has been there for you, and you've been using the same old tools. They aren't cutting it anymore. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this bad boy in and hope it works. So, we're going to put him... Actually, let's make the bolt, too. Let's make the bolt first. We'll save as. And we're going to save this as bolt. And then I need to get a picture of a... Oh, shoot. We need to do some other stuff here, too. First off... I see a spot. Oh, shit. What? What? Oh, that's the PNG. Yo, what up? Matthew loves archer fish. What? It, is an archer fish a thing? Like, is that an actual fish? I never heard of this fish. Let me look this up. Let me look this up. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Archer fish, this thing, you like this guy? It's actually it is a kind what what is it doing here? It spits with perfect aim? Hold up. Think of the archer fish as a fastball. Except that the distance to home plate changes with each batter. Baseball holds its shape, and the archerfish has to shoot a jet of water. But researchers have found that the archerfish can control and shape that jet in a way that no other creature does. To study this technique, oh my god! From the University of Bayreuth in Germany first spent about a year training archerfish. The fish had to shoot water from just the right spot in the aquarium so high speed cameras could catch the action. What the scientists found was that whether the target was at about 8 inches, 16 inches, or even 24 inches. Yeah, you really do. Honestly, that's one reason I like streaming. I don't know why I stopped streaming for like a month. But they, they, like, people will come in with just a name, right? Archerfish. Oh, sweet. Is that a real thing? Is this what your name is based off of? Humans use water jets for all kinds of purposes. This new understanding that is sick, and then it goes and grabs its food. Improvements and everything that's really, that's really cool. That's so cool. All right, um, we need a bolt hex bolt icon. Oh, we have to finish this one though. We didn't finish this one yet, uh, but I actually named myself after. Oh, the USS Archer. All right, let me leave that. Pretty cool front. It's a submarine. It's a pretty sweet looking sub. When was this used? Let's go to the wiki. Was the second ship of the United States Navy to be named for the archer fish? Oh, this is the second one. Which one do you like? Do you like the first one or the second one? All right, anyway, I got to do some work here. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is submarine of the United States Navy, 1943 to 1968. Nice. Are, have, were you in the, are you in the Navy? Or you just like it? Okay, so this is... So we already saved this one as... And so what we're going to do is we're going to put gonna take this copy SS 311 
Nice. She was the first ship of the United States Navy to be named after the archer fish. I'm a guy who played the game about navies. Gotcha. There was some... I remember some game with like... Submarines and crap. I don't, I don't think I played it a lot, but... Kittery, Maine. I love Kittery, Maine. Um, wait a minute. Is it actually there? Or is this still in use? 1944. Where does it lay now? Unfit for further naval and was struck from the... Uh, she was towed to a target position off San Diego and sunk? Really? They sunk it. Yeah, she was built in Maine. I go up to Maine uh, like for summer vacations and stuff. Uh, so we go to Kittery. Uh, they have like outlets and crap there. Um, they sunk it. That's interesting. Because like there's... Uh, I'm in Connecticut and like they have they have like a, a submarine naval base there where they have like a museum and stuff where you can go and I don't know if you can go in like many submarines or whatnot, but I do know you can go in submarines. So it's interesting that they would just sink that thing. Can you go and take guided like um tours of like going down there, scuba diving? That would be kinda cool. All right, let's let's try to figure out what we're doing. Copy layer style, paste layer style. Ready for this? Bam! All right. So what that is going to be, we're going to save this as export quick PNG. I don't even know if I need this one. But nut. Over. Save it. Okay. And then let's do a bolt. Let's do a bolt. Um, X bolt icon. Probably not given the fact that it's off the coast, which is, oh, it's very far off the coast. Yeah, that would, uh, yeah, that might not work. Okay. Uh, and given the fact the world record of scuba diving right now is 313 meters. What does that equate to in uh, feet? Thousand feet. <laughs> All right, what what kind of icon do I want for this stupid bolt? Um, I think we're gonna go with something like this. Simple icon like that. This looks just horrible. Uh, but yeah, my day is going well. Just been doing some free diving. Nice. Where do you free dive? I mean, you must be... If you've already been doing free diving, you must not be... Unless you get up early on the East Coast. Or maybe you're in the... Across the pond somewhere. Thailand. All right, there we go. And permanently here most of the time. That, that makes sense then. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to go, um, I think I'm going to make it look, ah, this is a good one too. But I think I'm just going to go with something simple like this. Let's not get too complicated. So let's take this guy. And we can delete these bad boys. Oops, that's not what we want to do. Close it. Yes, we'll save that bad boy. And this is our bolt one. So let's delete that. And we're going to paste this bolt in here. Only because we are using it for a reference. For, well, I say reference, but I'm just going to trace it. I don't like using things as is, though. I like to, to remake them. Even though I'm remaking them exactly the same. I think that's okay. 
It's not exactly the same, but. Okay, uh, next year I should have enough capital to afford my $500 carbon free dive. Carbon free diving bins. How long can you free dive? Free diving is what? You don't have um, any gear. But I mean, it's like snorkeling, right? But like no tank or anything? Or, or do I have that wrong? Curvature pen tool. I don't want a curvature. I just want a pen tool. I just want the pen tool. So if we go like this, uh, it's complicated. Yeah, okay, all right. Yo, I don't want it to curve. Okay, so there's that. Right, they, they just don't snorkel, right? They're just they're just there to dive, which makes sense. I don't like this. We're gonna make this a little bit simpler. Uh, we're gonna go like, actually, what can we do? We can delete this whole entire thing. Should I not even bother changing? Yeah, I might not even, whoa. Bam. If I properly pack my lungs, I could probably get... Damn, really? I can go for like... So, it's funny. I, for some reason, as a kid, and I don't know why, but I used to, as a kid, when I was in the bathtub, I would practice holding my breath for as long as possible. That's what I always did in the bathtub. Just shove my face in the water and just hold my breath. Um, I can hold it for over a minute, usually. I don't, I haven't done it in a while now. Um, I do have a pool, so I practice every now and then, but not as much as I used to in the bathtub. Um, uh, but yeah, I used to just like shove my face under the water and just try to hold my breath for as long as possible. What, what are like the, uh, what are the, um, what do you do to pack your lungs? That's what I want to know. Forty pixels. Okay, that's right. All right, so we're gonna copy this. We're gonna you know, we're gonna duplicate this bad boy, and we're just gonna move him down. Wow, I suck at this. Hang on, let's get rid of this. I'm gonna try something else. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go. All right, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. I gotta get rid of these things. Hang on. I gotta get rid of all these guidelines. Just screw me up. When I was making all the icons for my other game, I got really good at it, but not now. Uh, lung packing is basically taking the big breath, taking a big breath, then releasing a little bit out and taking in another big breath. I'm gonna have to try that. So kind of like. And then holding it. What is that? What is releasing that just a little bit out and then sucking in again do for you? Sucking. Actually, maybe I can do this. This is what I'm gonna do. Oh, look at that. Nice. I'm just gonna fill this in. Screw it. I'm gonna fill it in, baby. Um eh. let's just stroke the whole entire thing. Compresses your lungs. Oh, cool. So what I'm gonna do, let's go back to something else. Hang on. 
Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna take this bad boy, right? And, oh, actually, no, 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 we're not gonna take this bad boy. We're, I'm gonna fill this guy in. Well, what the hell just happened? Uh, all right, we're gonna fill this guy in with just the color. It doesn't really matter what color it is. What is that? What is going on here? Where's my fill tool? Where did it go? Oh, there we go. Paint bucket. Okay. So we don't need this. What we're going to do is we are going to fill this in. All right. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. So now if I go like this, it should just get the outside. All right. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stroke that outside. 40 pixels black. Center. Uh, center's probably fine. Okay, good. So that gives us our basic shape. Oh, what the hell just happened there? I don't want, <laughs> don't want this stuff. Why did this, why did it make this thing? I'm a terrible artist. That doesn't matter. Okay. So we got that. Perfect. Uh, actually, no, we don't. Shoot. I need a new layer. Then let's stroke it. Hang on. There's somebody right outside my window. So weird there was there was nobody there tomorrow i should be going back to work at the deep dive shop after i recover from covid how long have you had covid for i've had it twice already uh let's see so we're gonna go we're gonna stroke this bad boy good i still don't understand why it stroked the outside of that that's okay. We will delete it. Delete. Where's my delete button? God. God, I forgot how to use my computer. Okay, so that's good. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we'll probably, we'll, we'll put some lines in here. 
Um, so we'll take this guy. And I'm actually gonna make it like this, probably. Bam. And then we'll make one here. Bam. Make one here. Bam. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then we'll make one here. 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 I get rid of this guy now. Why do those guys have a border on them? Looks fine, actually. Uh, I'm back. Why if I just had a month on? Hey, okay. So I was I was saying, um, how long have you had COVID for? Whoa. That looks like a fine bolt, right? I think it looks okay. What what is there's something in why is there like Oh Should we get with it? Nice. What is up with this? Why is there like a shadow? What is this shadow? see that that's so strange so if i go like this make a new layer on this one and we're just gonna fill that with black why can't i fill this what the hell oh What is this shadow? I don't I don't really understand that. Hold on. Delete this layer. Okay. Let's go like this. Wait, did I just duplicate that layer? No, I want to delete the layer. Delete that layer. Delete that layer. Okay. So now. Let's do this, select, we're gonna select the inverse, select inverse so that it selects everything else. And we're, I don't know where all those shadows came from. That's so strange, right? Makes no sense. Now we have no shadows. Okay. That looks better, okay. Uh, I have no idea to be on. What up, Olive? How, how you doing? Uh, I have no idea to be honest. I'm just a guy who likes swimming in the water. I like swimming in the water too. But I got a pool. That's why I got a pool. All right, I, I do need to put like a little, I need to put something on here. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna put this just across here. Bam. How's that? That looks good too. There's our bolt. Does that look good? I think it looks good. It looks good enough for, for me. So let's uh, combine these guys. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, let's combine these. Guys. Um, do I want to combine them? Oh yeah, if you haven't caught on, I like history as well. History is cool. I don't. I don't get too much into history though. I get too bored. What? What should this be like? Blue. Let's make it blue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna select this entire guy. Select him, okay. And we're gonna do the same thing. Select inverse, and then as as long as I have inverse selected, I should be able to uh get a new layer. Layer, new layer, bam. And we're gonna put this down below. That didn't make any sense, but Okay. All right, I'll, this is we'll make this easy. I'm, I'll make this easier on myself. Okay. I think where? Uh, what? 
What in the world? I don't get it. I don't get it. This is so strange. This, like, oh, geez. What the hell? That's not what I wanted. Um, I want to do this. We need to do this again and select inverse. I don't get like what that like shadow inside was. I don't know what that is. It's very weird. Okay, but it's gone now. No need to worry anymore. We fixed it. <laughs> all right. So now, now what we're gonna do, all right, so let's save this as. I like it. We'll, or we'll just save it actually. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go up dinner and then go train my breath hold. Sweet! Have fun, man. Thanks for stopping by. Um, Olive, I am making some icons for our game right now. Just doing some basic crap here. We're gonna go like this. So we're, we have our, our nuts, we're gonna have our bolts. All right, and now what we need to do is we need to stroke it. Stroke it, copy layer style. So we're gonna put this stroke on here. So we're gonna say, paste this layer style. Why can't I, oh, there we go, paste that layer style. Ooh, what the heck? Oh, uh. I just, I don't understand. What is, what is it doing? What, it, what is it even? It's like there's just a bunch of extra garbage in here. I just don't understand it. Okay. All right, so that's fine. Um, and then, uh, hmm, maybe on these ones, we can paste this layer style too. Paste layer style. But, uh, oh, we, let's make this go under here. Bam, okay. But what we're gonna do with this stuff, blending options, this stroke is not going to be anywhere close. So we're just going to have little bits, little bits. The hover, that's fine. Uh, or maybe I won't even do that inner stuff. Let's clear the layer style on this one. Clear layer style. Okay, I think that'll be okay. We'll just, we'll just make it like that. Export. So this is gonna be bolt hover. I don't even know if I need a bolt hover, but it's there. Okay, so now let's go back into here and replace some of these images. Uh, we need to change up this whole entire thing. So, so let's see, should we make something like this? How should we do this? How should this look? Should it just be something simple? I don't know what it should be actually. So right now we're gonna make it super simple. We're gonna make it super simple because I always overcomplicate things in the middle, in the very beginning of making a game. Um, and then I end up changing the look and feel of the UI anyway. So this time I'm not gonna waste too much time on that. What are you finding? Nothing anymore. What I might do actually, oh, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna use, no, I'm not. All right, so let's do this. On this main menu, yeah, we don't need that. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go like this. So bolts frame. So let's take this, let's get this image label. Ah, uh, where are you going? You just got here. You just got here. Have a good one. Have a good day. Da -na 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 -da -na. Photoshop icon bolt. Create. Okay, good. There's my bolt. Let's change the nut. 
Let's change the nut. It's gonna say, yeah. We're gonna call this hex nut. All right, so that's what those guys will look like. Um, but now let's make the bolt frame. So we're gonna take this. Oh, we don't need that one yet. These images. Position, we're gonna position them, position them at 0.5. Perfect. Do I want these to be this big or no? Oh, UI grid layout. Cell size, ooh yeah, that's not good. Was that oh that makes sense this guy can be smaller that's why okay let's just make this guy a little bit smaller does this guy have he does not he doesn't have a ui aspect ratio on him does that matter yeah let's see that's gonna like really look crappy so let's let's put a ui aspect All right, and then this guy is going to be like one point. It's going to be like a two or and okay. So then that way, when we go like this, see that it stays the same. And so it'll, it'll look better when we, you know, make this go up and down. It looks a lot better. All right. Now, obviously, it looks like shit right now anyway, but... We're not taking too much time on this. Okay, so bolts frame. We're gonna take these guys. These guys are all gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put a U. Ugh. I am gonna put a UI corner on it. I can't stand it without the corner. That's interesting. Put it on this main UI. Let's put a corner on here. Oh, I guess we can't do that. UI stroke. Don't work either. That's fine. Okay, anyway, we're gonna make a, a, a real one, but I mean, I could put this in a frame, I guess. Okay, anyway. Um, and then this guy, these guys, that's title. We don't need that currency GUI. Okay. So bolts frame, level frame. So we need to take this image label. E for your business? It's never been easier. I don't need e-commerce for my business. I don't have a business. <laughs> okay. So then what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of the border. We don't want that. See that? Much better. We need to take this text label though and make that background transparency one. Okay, so that's good. Um, and then uh, we can do, let's add a stroke onto these guys. Okay. Did that work? Should have. Yeah, there we go. And we'll give it a little bit of padding. Just like that. I don't think that they need to be this big yet.
Oh, this is pretty huge. Pretty huge. You're back. Like, I think they can probably be like that small, right? They don't need to be big. All right, I dig it. So we have that, we have that. All right, what is our, what is the background of these guys gonna be? Let's make the background so we have blue, green. If we make it, what the hell? Kind of like that color, actually. Let's make these guys background transparency of one. Okay. Did that work? Uh, I guess so. Did it? It didn't. What is still? Oh, that's that. We need this guy's transparency. One. Um, actually, let's take this. Uh, that whole level thing is going to change, but we're going to take this and make it a one. Okay. What? Why is that still not working? Where's the level frame? We're going to take this, this, and this, and we're going to make the background transparency one. Okay, now it looks normal. Uh, level frame. So this needs to be at like five. And um, position, we'll put it at 0.5. That should be okay. Actually, let's make it as big as this guy. It's a little bit bigger. Okay, and then we need to do like a text scale on this. And we are using, I can barely read this crap. So we'll pop, there we go, level zero, okay. And then these text labels need to be text scaled as well. And we'll set them to score watch. Okay, good. That's looking good, I think, sort of. Uh, we want the, <laughs> eh. We want the background frames of these guys to be something though. What do we want it to be? Ooh, pocket baking. Guess what I'm playing? Um, Taco Town. Are you playing Taco Town? Restaurant Tycoon, I was close. <laughs> All right, so this, <clears throat> we're gonna make this level, uh, this text label, we're gonna put this in a frame. And uh, it's gonna be this size. So let's just take let's just take everything from here. That guy inside of there. And oh, we need this guy to have this. Bam. Okay. And this frame we need for no, no border. Uh, we will have a border actually, but that's okay. Uh, this guy now just needs to be a one, one. And this guy is going to have UI corner. We want to make him like, Maybe maybe we'll make him bigger. Make it more like a circle. Okay, so then this guy, we're gonna move over just a tiny little bit. Okay. Do we want him? I think we want to move him over a little bit more than that. Just like that, that's what we wanna do. All right, so that's gonna be the level, perfect. Um, but we're also gonna do UI stroke. Just 
keep it like a one there, that's fine. Okay. That's your level. This is your um, current XP. Okay. Um, and I, I, I guess I could make these, I, I guess I could put, yeah, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna take this frame and I'm gonna put it into the nut frame and I'm gonna put it into the bolt frame. And we'll put the icon in there. Can you guess one of my favorite games in Roblox made by Whirlpool? I don't know anything. I don't know any games. Um, let me look at what Whirlpool Studio makes and then I'll, I'll guess. Okay, so, hmm. I don't really know. Is it Obby Creator? Do you like Obby Creator? I feel like my, has my son played this game before? I don't know if he has. I don't think this is the game he's played. You know what's funny about Obby Creator though? Like you could literally just do this on your own, like in Roblox Studio. <laughs> make your own money off it. Can you make money off of that game? So we're gonna take out this text label and we're gonna slap this image label in here. And this is just gonna be a one one. This guy doesn't need any of this stuff anymore. Think just like that. And then same with this guy. Uh, image label doesn't need that anymore. He's gonna go in the frame and he is Take over. Bam. Okay. So he's in there too. Good, good, good. So this is just bolts, nuts, and level. Alright. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to fill up this level stuff because we haven't done that yet. Alright, so if we come into here. Where did our script go for this? What time is it? 9.09, all right. So this is our quick stats. Okay, so get currency, level, frame. Okay, profile dot level. What else do we get from this, I guess is the question. So let's put a breakpoint in here. So we have, pro oh, progress scale, 0 0.016. Right, it's 0 0.016 to the next level. Because why is that? What, what is the next level? Let's look at that first. We're at level zero, which is which is correct. Um, let's add bolts, add blah, 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 blah. Get currency. So anytime we add XP, it does, okay, the progress scale is here. That makes sense, okay. That's cool. All right, so that, that should be pretty simple, right? So if we go with, we need, we need another, Oh, 
we need another um, frame probably in here underneath everything. So let's make a frame. And what this frame will be is it's, it's gonna have a UI corner on it too. Paste in too, okay. All right, so this guy, he's gonna be, um, yeah. He needs, his anchor point is gonna be at zero. That's correct. We're gonna make this anchor point at 0.5. That doesn't really matter actually, cause he is the entire size. So that's good. All right, and then, um, it's just the right frame, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, size, okay, so this, Y is always gonna be one, it's gonna fill up the entire thing, right? Um, and it, uh, what color is this gonna be? This color is going to be, We'll just make it orange for now. Okay. So, but we want this. So the this, all of these guys need to be at Z index of two. Good, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. And then this one frame is Z indexed, is the next Z index. So that is what it will look like as it's you know, getting bigger. So if we make this guy bigger or smaller, if we got, if we make this guy zero, uh, actually this has to always be zero. If we make this guy zero, can't see him. Can't see him. All right, good. So this is a uh, scale. This is gonna be progress scale. So then all we have to do is, I think it should be progress scale. So that's the level, that's correct. So we're also gonna say level frame dot level frame dot, um, frame, uh, actually this has to be dot frame too. And then this is gonna be frame, um, so that's the level text, uh, which is correct. This text label. So this is gonna be the level frame dot level frame dot text label. Text equals player profile dot. And I think there should be like an XP on it. Yeah, dot XP. Dot XP. So that'll be how much XP you have. Um, and then we need to say level frame dot progress scale dot size equals. Um, this should be a UDIM2, right? UDIM2 dot new. And we're going to say um, this is going to be player profile dot progress. Scale, comma, one, uh, comma zero, comma one, comma zero. We need to do one more thing for this. We need to say player currency service um, XP changed. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I know we're gonna have to change this stuff. So what do we do? We just we just pass back level progress scale XP. All right, that makes it easy. So then we just have to say level. Um, progress scale. And XP. And in this case, we're gonna put a to do. If level has changed, pop up something cool. All right. I have a feeling that there's uh, a lot of this is gonna break. So this is gonna be nuts frame. <laughs> nuts frame dot frame. Okay, nuts frame dot frame.
Yo, what's up? Is there any chance of you working for me? Is there? I mean, yeah, there's always a chance, right? There's always a chance. What you got going on? Okay, good. I, I'm pretty sure this is going to break right now because I think that the multiplier service is broken. Yeah, you see that multiplier service is broken. So I can't even pick these up yet. But we'll fix that. We'll fix a few things here. Um, what did I do here? Text label is not valid. Yeah, right. Bullcorn, man. Uh, line 41. Text label. Is not a valid member. Level frame. Dot level frame. Oh, dot frame. No, I, I, this I just need as level frame. I'm working on an anime game. It's about the anime Blue Lock. It's a soccer game. That sounds cool. <clears throat> You're looking for devs or something? What do you what have you done in the game? Yeah. What have you done so far? What do you got done? You have like a prototype of it done yet? That's wrong. All right, 44. What? Text label is not a valid member of frame. Mainframe bolts frame. Dot frame. Oh, you're right. It's just the it's just the bolts frame. So I actually didn't need that. That was I put that in there just for the um uh the icon. That's what that that's what that extra frame was for. It wasn't for uh text. Mm-hmm. Correct. Nice. So now let's see if we can um grab this stuff okay not yet our multiplier is gone so okay how much of the game do you have done multiplier service index nil yeah obviously because i didn't uh i didn't instantiate that bad boy now it should work mm. Still might not work. VIP, oh. cool. Um, interesting. Index no with VIP. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's let's bring that over. Let's bring that code over. Hang on. Let me uh let me go into my other game. What? Where the heck is it? I need this one. So what is it? Game passes? Game pass, game pass. How did you learn scripting? Um, so I hang on, it's just a second. So we need to there's a couple things we need to do here. So I am a software engineer. Um I graduated college and with a bachelor uh bachelor's degree in computer science back in like 2005. So that's where I learned, you know, schooling, right? That's that's where I learned the basics. Um, and then I've been working full time um, as a as an engineer, uh, as a software engineer, um, since 2006. And then um, I started working with Roblox code in 2020, maybe. Yeah, 2021, 2021. Okay, so this we need we need to grab this, but we don't actually have that yet. So do we have the Game Pass service? No, we'll 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 bring all these over. Because we're gonna need them, so might as well bring them over. Oh my god! Thank you for the sub, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um I've never coded in Scratch. I've never coded in Scratch. Um 
but I'm sure I can figure it out. I know a lot of languages. I'm not an expert in any single language because I think that's, I don't know. I think that's kind of weird if you're an expert in one language but don't know anything else. <laughs> um, so uh, have you made any games yet? Yes. So I have, um, the one game I have out there is called Taco Town. Um, it was the very first game that I made and I did a lot wrong. But I used, uh, I, I, I learned a lot about what to do, where things go. Um, I'm working on mainly two games right now, which is this one called Bridges. And then I have another another game that's codename is Artifact Rush, um, which are being worked on right now. So, um, but these are a lot bigger games than Taco Town. Actually, this one's not that big of a game. Eh, it's kind of big, but uh, Artifact Rush is going to take me a long time to make because it's it's very big. Uh, but I'm stealing code from it for this. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go grab the game pass. Put that under data. So let's copy this. Replicated storage data game pass paste into. Okay. We're going to have to change all these things um, because these are. Oh, no, these are. That's correct. These are all correct. No, they're not. But that's okay. All right. Um, it doesn't really matter. And what's the other thing we need to grab? Grab the Game Pass service. I bet you there's stuff in the Game Pass service I'm going to have to get to. Is there anything in here? Oh, nice. This is not dependent on anything else. Except for Game Passes, which we just get. And we don't, what, why do we need the crew service? that we didn't need the crew service okay all right this should all work just fine yep okay now let's see now let's see taco town at some point i had to refactor the code to, to use knit because right now nice oh my god that's interesting, right? How did I move to the next? Level that quick. What is the level? I'm moving through levels now. What I, I want to see what the thresholds are for these levels is that's that was just way too much. Oh, is it because I have the I have the multipliers? So the level thresholds. Why why is this stuff not populating? Just because there's too many of them. Why can't I hover over this? What the heck? My debugging's not even working. Very strange. Down, down, down. Something happened. I don't know what it was. Something happened. Also, what is going on with this? Nice. Have fun. Oh, that's my other one. Okay, makes sense. Have fun. Dun, 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 dun.
So what I'm gonna do here actually is I'm going to just print out this. Um, we're gonna print out X. <laughs> All right, we're gonna print this out. Um, let's just do this. This will make it easier. Okay, so then we'll be able to see those thresholds. Those first thresholds are like way too quick. Four four point five. Man, that's giving me a lot. How is that possible? If I'm on level three. So this is level one. Yeah, twelve. So this says I only have four and a half. Why is this progress scale changing so much? I think there's something wrong there. See, that's not changing. Why is that not changing? What is that what is that number getting right now? I thought that was getting XP. Plus equals XP. Level progress scale XP. Oh, that's how much. That's not what we want. We need the actual XP too. Um, so actually, I'm just gonna paste that in there. That's probably why. The four and a half was basically how much XP I was getting not how much I had. So right now I have 52 XP, that makes more sense. So now if I go like this, whoops, 56, 61. So it's giving me about four and a half of these guys. Sup, dude? Sup, dude? What's up, dude? So that works. I think I should always round up, though, and not have 0. 0.5. That's probably what I'll do. Look. It's Zach. He's all rusty. He's rusty. Dude, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm never going hiking again. <laughs> dude, and it, so now you understand why I was like, dude, if it's raining and below 40, I'm not going. <laughs> if it was raining and in the 40s, like we thought it would be, then it would have been fine. Raining and below 40, it's just, I was, I was miserable. I'm like, I'm not, I used to do it too old now. I'm good, man. I'm good. All right. You want to see? Yeah, but I think honestly, if we did the same thing and brought a tarp as a makeshift fourth wall, we would have been warm enough. Yeah. And I mean, we definitely could have. We probably could have got a fire going if we like really, really, really tried. You know what I mean? Like we didn't like super try. <laughs> we, I don't know. What is the, uh, what is the, what is the phrase? We gave it the, uh, something effort. What, what is that? What is that phrase? We gave it the half college try. That's it. We gave it the, we gave it the college try. 
That is what it is. Okay. So this is good. Um, except. What I'm going to do. Is. I had dinner and drinks with Tommy. Yeah, how'd that go? Nice. We're going to change this level. So this is going to be, we definitely have to make this like 100. 100, 100. He was like, if I was there, I would have made a fire. Yeah, I mean, it, we definitely could have. It, it, it's, it's, it, we just, you know, needed to play around. Yeah. <laughs> Had nachos for an app? <laughs> Dude, you know where my brain went? I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? I had nachos for an app. I'm like, what kind of what kind of app is an is nachos? What what would you even do in that app? <laughs> like I'm thinking like a phone app. I'm like, I had nachos for an app. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and then a pulled pork sandwich. Nice. You know what I had? Ground meat. <laughs> Ground meat. All right. So this is good. Um, eh. Not as good as the duck nacho. Ooh, duck nachos. I remember you telling me that. Yeah. All right. So let's see that. We're getting our currency. We're getting our... Um, all right. That's good. This is working. We don't have bolts yet, so that's fine. But we have we have nuts, uh, bolts, and a level. I want to. I think I want to change the background on this, but I'm not. I'm not going to care about that yet. So now what I have to do. Now that we have that working. Now what I want to do is. Um, What I need to do is, oh man. Okay, so in islands, this is gonna say um, min level. So this is gonna say min level. Uh, eh. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I was watching Beavis and Bayad yesterday and they like, they're meditating and they're like only buddha and it's said that only buddha has um been able to clear his mind and reach enlightenment <laughs> and then like they zoom to all the other people like try to meditate and clear their mind clear my mind don't think about anything no thoughts shit was that just a thought <laughs> and be some button go to there's just nothing going on in their head and they get enlightened and then, then they get this stuck there with Bill. Everybody gets pissed at them. They get stuck there with Bill Gates. Oh man. Min level or crossing. So you're gonna have to be level one. I so that's what that's gonna be. Min level for crossing is gonna be level one. I got Tom watching it last night. It's so good. All right, so this is going to be min level for crossing is two. All right, so then what's going to happen is um, so what's going to happen here is in in this guy I'm gonna I'm gonna put a yeah this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to put a barrier so you can't get through that barrier. And this will have to be on every bridge. I mean, on every island. So this is the island. This is the crossing area. So we're going to do this. We're going to say barrier. Uh, we're going to put a folder in here. Barrier. And we're going to put one. We're going to put two parts, actually. One part is is really going to be um, we're going to put this at the uh, the beam. We'll put it at the beam. Yeah, we'll put it at the position of the beam. Oh. 
So now what this guy is gonna do, wait, where is he? Okay, good. It's exactly where I needed him to be. So we're gonna make him go down there and then we're gonna go like this. Actually, this is just gonna be like right in here, right? So you're not gonna be able to see it really. Um, I mean, you'll be able to see it. So that looks good. Um, we could probably move this back a little bit. Oops. What the hell did I just do? Need the red one. Get, get out of here. Kind of like that. All right. All right. I think that's good. How's it look in the back? How is she looking in the back? There we go. Bam, just like that. Um, and then we're gonna duplicate that guy. Duplicate him. Um, but this, so this one is gonna be completely transparent, right? And, but it's gonna be like way out here so that you still can't cross. It's just barrier, bam, 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 bam. Oh my God, what is going on here? All right. So that barrier's there, anchored, can collide, it's true. So this guy is going to be our part that is like half transparent. It's gonna look like glass or something. I don't know. We'll make it look like, I, I mean, I guess we can make it like a force. Ooh, yeah, let's make it a force field. Screw it. Force field's always kind of cool. Because what we can do with the force field is we can put a texture on it, I think. Let me open up this. Um, let me look at the... Um, What is the what is the texture I need? It's in puzzle piece. It's in here. So this is under replicated storage. Uh, puzzle piece border uh, inside. Huh. Neon neon. Force field. Okay, this is it. Uh, eh, texture ID. We're just gonna take that guy, which is interesting because where is the texture ID for this guy? Eh, eh. <laughs> That's weird, right? It's a force field. Hmm. Unless I just need. Maybe I need this to be a mesh part. Just make it a mesh part. Hey. Let's go with that. Okay. And then, oh, but you know what? Is that gonna, no, maybe not. All right, let's just see what happens. So we're gonna take this guy size. We're gonna make him the same size. And where is this bad boy? I find myself doing that all the time. Eh. Text him from far to eh. It's a good idea. Not a bad idea. All right. So then this this guy's the big one, right? Yeah, that guy's the big one. So this guy, transparency. No, we just need him to be a force field. Where the hell is force field? F. For force okay there's force field and i have that in there oh there we go huh that's kind of cool let's just look for a, an interesting texture i don't know if i should do this here Like maybe, 
This is a cool texture. Uh, eh. Top bridges. Now oh, we'll just put it in here. Say what? What the heck is this? Web P? What the fuck is a web P? I don't want that. I just want to save this. This is so stupid. Come on, people. Da -da -da. I have an idea. I'm going to make my own. Screw you guys. Da -da 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 -da. Open recent. Open recent. I think web... Yeah, website photos. Stupid, that's what it is. All right, so let's get rid of this. Oh, what? Oh, that's Roblox. Um, let's first see what it looks like without all this crap. Is this like really? Why is this so dark? Take out the color overlay first. I just want to save this real quick. And just see how it looks. Doesn't look right. Yeah, that's not right. If we go like this, is it like on the top? Yeah, something ain't right with this. Well, all right, I'm not gonna figure it out right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna Put that part back here. Get rid of this mesh part. Screw it. We're going to just do this. This will be a not force field. This will just be like fabric. Fabric. No oh, thanks. Foil. I like the foil texture for uh, like a, a glass thing. All right. But this has to be like a bluish color. Although this foil looks really bad now. I swear, oh, that looks better. This one's very flat. Why is it flat? Because of the lighting? Hmm, it's weird. Cobblestone, concrete. We'll just leave it as concrete, I guess. And then we'll put a decal on there. Da, da, da. And we just need like a lock icon. I think I actually have a lock icon some here, somewhere I could use. Let's see, let's see what the lock icon I have an artifact brush looks like. That's not what I wanted. Locker. I don't have anything in there, I don't think. Um, miscellaneous icons. Do I have a lock icon in here? 
I have that, but that's pretty crappy. We don't need to put one on here yet. Um, we will though, so we'll just leave that there. Um, those are, these both need to be anchored and can collide on, okay, good. So now when we go through here, uh, actually the other thing we wanna do is put something on this button. Um, so when you click it, if you're not the correct level, you can't move. You can't move forward. So it's kind of two things. You won't be able to get past this until you get to a certain level. But if for some reason you skirt that, when you click this button, um, the server's gonna check and say, hey, you can't do this. You don't have enough, you don't have the correct level yet. Actually, I might take that part away. Because in higher levels, You're gonna to wanna to watch people, I think. So maybe we will get rid of this barrier. When I search, what does WebP means in Google? It says WebP is a modern image format that provides superior lossless and lossy compression for images on eh, That's cool. Uh, I'll, I'll get used to it one day. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that because nobody cares. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be set on this button. So watch this. Um, when you push that button, what happens when you press that button? Crossing Islands controller. Zen, you want me to show you what this game is about? Knit start, all right, checkpoint reach, crossing bridges. Eh, eh. Where's the button click? Web. Why wouldn't it be called WPF then? <laughs> Oh, this is the difficulty chooser. All right, crossing difficulty chooser. All right, so in here, when we click that button, this is the game. We've never seen this game. So this is gonna be, um, do we have islands in here? we do okay so we need to know what island we're on how do we know what island we're on okay button dot parent out on all right perfect so we have that so that is when we click it. Oh yes, yes. So that brings up the difficult, uh, actually, you know what? Let's do it right here. If they click it. Nope, I think I should if they click the button and then they're not the level yet, they're not at the correct level yet to to try to cross the island. I think I'll, I'll still show the difficulty chooser because the difficulty chooser will show you like what kind of rewards you'll get. So maybe it'll be a little bit more exciting, but when they try to hit the start, Just put them back to the very beginning and remove all of their gear and everything that they've earned in the game. You can't do that. But when they hit that start button, that's when I wanna just um, 
say, no, nah, you need you need a higher level to, to start this. But if they're able to open up that difficulty chooser and see what the next rewards are, then it might motivate them to keep playing. If they don't know what they're playing for, then they might not want to continue. So that's what we'll do. So in here, we'll let that work. And then in start button click, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the island, right? Um, island. I have to poop, man. Oh, I can just pass an island info actually. Cause we already have it. It's 9.52, yo, I gotta poop. So we'll just pass this in, bam. It's coming on strong, man. I'm gonna have to end, I'm gonna have to end, uh, end stream like in an instant, right when I, right when I got, okay. Um, so that's good. And then um, up here, what we're gonna say, what we're gonna say is uh, if, so let's get the player's level first. Actually, let's do this. Yes, let's get the player level. Uh, how do we get the player's level? I just created this stuff. So we need the player currency service. Hopefully streaming this weekend will get me into wanting to wake up at 4 a.m. Maybe that's why I haven't been able to get out of bed too, because I was so overwhelmed with like anything that I had to set up. I didn't know if any, any of my stuff was gonna work anymore. <laughs> For streaming, eh, it does, it works, it works. I'm here, I'm here. All right, so now we have the player currency service. So what we gotta do here is, um, know what we gotta do let's uh let's go here player currency service and we're gonna uh, no not not there quick stats controller we're gonna do this too we're gonna kind of go like this get currency so we'll do this at the very beginning um so we get the player how do i not have the player oh local player all right And we'll get the, okay, so let's do this. And we are going to say local player level equals zero. All right, and then in here, we're gonna just say player level equals player profile dot level. All right, so that's good. Um, and then what we need to do here is to do um, open, uh, uh, we don't really need to open up anything because we're just gonna check it at runtime. So we don't need to we don't need to unblock anything at least not yet like in the future maybe there's things that we want to unblock um based on your level but for now it's all going to be handled in the button clicks and stuff when you're playing the game so we have that level here and then the other thing we got to do is anytime they get xp we need to update a ugh, we might need to update that level too so we're going to uh we're going to use this xp change Eh. And we're just gonna say player level equals level. All right, player level equals level, okay. So then in here, all we have to do is if level is greater than or equal to, no, this isn't right, if player level is a greater than or equal to island info dot what did I call it? Min level four crossing. Then bam. Then we can do this. Else uh, to do pop up a message. But for right now, level not I. Oh my God, dude, I really like to poop. I might not even make it up to the bidet. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. And then I do, I, I'm just gonna shut down right away because I cannot hold this in anymore. All right, so um, 
we are at level zero, so this should not let us do it. It should bring up the difficulty chooser, start, and then it says level not high enough. Perfect. Okay, so let's try. Uh, I don't have anything to do this. Yet. Tell me more. Yeah, I know, right? I don't have anything that gets rid of this yet, so we're just going to. Um... All right, I do. I gotta go. All right, talk to you guys later. I'll be on tomorrow morning. Peace.